What's up guys and gals, Will Vance here. And a lot of you guys have been asking how I did the lead sound in my recent track, Mimic, that came out on Elliptical Sun Melodies just last week. I'm gonna take a little bit of time out of my day to dig into my Ableton project file, talk about some of the layers, some of the synths, and everything that kind of came together to make this really driving melodic progressive lead that's been killing it in all of my sets over the past couple months as I've been fine tuning this release. Anyway, so now we're gonna jump into Ableton and we'll kind of see how it all comes together. All right, you guys, so now we're inside Ableton, about to dig into the lead sound of my track mimic. I'm gonna hop down into here, open up the channel so you see exactly what's going on. When I originally sent this track to some of my producer buddies months ago, uh, it was only these two channels here, this Frozen Omnisphere and then this Instrument, instrument Rack. Uh, the main feedback that I was getting is that the synth was very wide, it sounded great, but it didn't have a lot of information going on right down the middle of the, of the stereo field. And that's going to come into play if you're playing on in bigger systems, on in bigger clubs, and everything like that. So I opened up Spire, and I just picked a generic saw wave preset, took all the effects off of it, bumped the saturator drive up a little bit, and arrived at this layer here. There's really nothing fancy, nothing complex going on here. I really just wanted some, some crisp, kind of grizzled synth going almost completely mono just to, to put some information right down the middle of the stereo field so that if I'm playing on bigger systems, uh, it'll translate, it'll still have all the punch that I'm looking for while still being wide and shimmering and everything that and have all the qualities that the other layers are gonna bring. So we're gonna hop into the, the main synth or what started as the main synth, which is two layers of Diva and one more layer of Spire. I'm a huge fan of layering multiple different synths together to create a very complex and, and texturally rich melody line, chord, pad line, or whatever you're working on. But Essentially, this what this layer is doing is adding a metallic punch to the sound overall. Uh, the middle, upper mids are being taken care of by this layer of Diva here. You'll notice it. And it's kind of bouncing between both headphones, at least my headphones. Um, it's crisp, it's bright, and kind of occupying all the frequencies that I'm wanting it to do. The next layer of Diva is going to be doing something very similar, but essentially just one octave up. You'll notice that here. And by having the arrangement of the melody so sparse and so sporadic, it allows all of the attention and all of the focus to be directed right onto this lead, lead melody meaning that I can take up multiple different octaves in the frequency spectrum uh, and really have it be a really massive synth with a lot of delays and a lot of reverb going on. Um, and all those spatial effects will help to fill out the purposely sparse arrangement of the melody. Now the final layer is gonna be just Spire again. And this is gonna add a much more of like plucky attack that's not gonna be really noticeable when you're playing it all together, but really adds again a, a deeper, metallic -y, attack -y pluck to it. Uh, each individual layer has been EQ'd by itself, so I don't add a lot of EQ post, post synth. I just add a little bit of compression, well, a lot of compression actually, to help tame some of the peaks, help give it a bit more character, and the limiter to help change some of the peaks, and then the rest is just either filters or spatial effects to help fill out that space in between the notes, help give it an added sense of, of rhythm and momentum and like dr drive, just propelling the track forward to the breakdown. Now the final layer, which I have frozen, because Omnisphere definitely takes a lot of CPU power to run, is um, just one of the presets in Omnisphere again, but this layer is purposely meant to more facilitate the vibe of the other two layers by having a bit more reverb, even more delays going on, and just, you know, essentially filling out whatever space isn't being played and isn't being filled up by the main melodies. It's going to be filled up by the atmospheres of this atmosphere. You'll hear what I'm talking about when it's in solo, and then also once you know what to listen for, you'll kind of hear it going on in the background when all the layers are playing together.
And you'll notice also that there's a little bit of randomness going on, especially with the filter cutoff and some of the velocity. Um, I have some modulation going on with inside Omnisphere to kind of be playing with those filter cutoffs just to add a bit of almost like analog spontaneity uh, to the to this this channel and, and to these MIDI notes. And again, it's one of those smaller details that you don't really notice it, uh, but it's something more that you feel when all the layers are working together and it creates a much more organic um, analog kind of vibe to these synths that are all based within a computer. So I'm gonna play them all together now so you kind of hear the overall culmination of all these different layers. So you hear them all added up to create one unique full driving sound that fills up the almost the entire uh frequency spectrum and that has enough delays and enough spatial effects to really keep it propelling forward and just keep keep that driving energy going that i'm aiming for in this track specifically i'm gonna play the last eight bars or so before it heads to the breakdown um and then we'll part ways but i'll give you a listen right now some of the CPU glitches these projects can get rather complex with all of these layers. Normally I have them either flattened or frozen or bounced to audio, but I wanted to be able to dig into some of these synths and show you guys kind of what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, so once again, pardon some of the computer glitches. Uh, but until next time, I'm Will Vance. This has been my track Mimic. We have a lot of fun stuff coming out on Elliptical Sun recordings, Elliptical Sun melodies, and just stay tuned because we have a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. We'll catch you next time. Let me know if you have any further questions. Reach out to me on Instagram. But we'll catch you next time. See you then.